In this video, I'll show you how to install and run Stable Diffusion Web UI on a Mac M1 or M2. You can also find a step-by-step -step guide linked in the description. Let's go! You'll need to use a command line tool for the installation process. In our case, we'll be using the terminal app on Mac. Here's how to access it. 1. Navigate to the Applications folder on your Mac. 2. Open the Utilities folder. 3. Launch the terminal application. Alternatively, you can use the Spotlight search feature to quickly open the terminal app. Press the Command and Spacebar keys simultaneously on your keyboard. This will bring up the Spotlight search bar. Type Terminal in the search bar. Press Enter when the Terminal app is highlighted in the search results. The first step is to install Homebrew. Homebrew is a popular package manager for macOS operating systems. It is designed to simplify the process of installing and managing software on a Mac. In the Terminal app, you must type the following command, which you can copy from the installation guide I linked in the description. When you hit Enter, you will be asked to provide your password during the installation. This is the same password that you use to log in to your Mac. Just start typing and confirm with Enter. You will also be asked to confirm the installation of Xcode command line tools. Again, confirm with Enter to continue the installation. After having installed Homebrew, you will see a message saying that you need to adjust your path. Adjusting the path for Homebrew means configuring your computer's settings so that it knows where to find the programs installed by Homebrew. You can do that by copy and pasting the command that you see and hear in the terminal. And then hitting Enter again. The next step is to install some programs that Stable Diffusion Web UI needs to run on your Mac. You will need to install CMake, Protocol Buffers or Protobuf. Python, Git, and wget. So, in the terminal, you will type in the following command and hit Enter to start installing. Now we can download the Stable Diffusion Web UI, which is located in a GitHub repository called Automatic 1111. You can search for that repository in Google. Then click on the button that says Code and copy the URL. Now go to your terminal app, type git clone, followed by the URL that you just copied and hit Enter. This command will download Stable Diffusion Web UI on your Mac. You can verify that the installation was successful by going into Finder under Home. If you see a folder called Stable Diffusion Web UI, then cloning the repository worked. The last step involves downloading a Stable Diffusion model to your Mac. These models consist of patterns that the AI uses to generate images, learned from training on thousands of other images. They typically come in the form of checkpoint or sometimes safe tensor files and you can locate them on websites like Hugging Face and Civit AI. There's a wide variety of models available for you to choose from, each for different image styles and purposes. Let's download this one here called Dream Shaper, and you can see here on the Civit AI pages what type of images it generates, so click on Download. Once it's downloaded, you need to place the model in a specific folder inside the Stable Diffusion Web UI application. You will need to go to your finder under Home. Then find the cloned GitHub repository called Stable Diffusion Web UI. In that folder, go to Models, Stable Diffusion, where you will see a text file called Put Stable Diffusion Checkpoints here. This is where you drag and drop your downloaded model. And that's it! You have now successfully installed Stable Diffusion Web UI. Next, let's generate an image. To start Stable Diffusion Web UI, you will need to use your terminal app again. 
So, open the terminal app and then type and run the command cd stable diffusion web UI to open the folder in which the stable diffusion web UI is located. You can see that you are inside the right folder because it shows up here in the terminal. Now, type in the command dot slash web UI dot sh and hit enter. This will run the stable diffusion web UI locally on your Mac. To access it, you'll need to copy the URL that is given to you in the terminal app. Just paste it into your browser and it will open the Stable Diffusion Web UI. Now let's write a prompt. For example, a dark-haired woman standing in front of a busy city. Now hit the Generate button. Stable Diffusion will take a few seconds to generate an image. And here is the result. Not bad for such a simple prompt. To properly end Stable Diffusion Web UI, simply closing your browser window won't do. This is because a virtual environment session is created to run Stable Diffusion Web UI and it continues to consume resources even after you close the browser. To end this session, you'll need to return to your terminal and close it from there. Stable Diffusion Web UI is a fantastic tool for AI-powered image generation using open source software. Keep an eye out for my upcoming videos to learn more about this topic. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.